Sean Sewell with InGearMit.com. And these are the Smith Wildcat sunglasses. These are a full wrap, lightweight, high performance sunglass, not only for biking or hiking, but also for use in the snow here. In my case, backcountry snowboarding, splitboarding. It's been fantastic touring glasses for a lot of people on our InGearMit team. I finally have a pair myself, and so I want to share my observations with you. So I've got a lot to cover in this review, so let's get into it. First and foremost, we'll start with sizing. I'm a men's size medium head, but I have my hat off so you can see the full coverage of these sunglasses. Um, I love everything about it. There's nice full wrap right here, keeping the snow from hitting my eyeball so I can see you guys through the camera. What's cool about this is if I want to be closer to my face, I can simply take these off and adjust this nose bridge. There's two way adjustment. So I'm gonna go click, click. And then now that nose bridge is adjusted to be closer to my face. Aha, see? So that's kind of nice. When I first came in, I was like, God, these are really cool, but they're a little bit far away from my face. And I like to be a little bit closer here, especially for side protection from say, you know, uh, I drive my windows down all the time. I like to keep any kind of dust. And it's been really windy and dusty here in Colorado. Keep all that from hitting my eyeballs and irritate my eyes. And also on the trails, I like to keep any kind of debris uh, from getting into the side of my eyes, not only from the front. So this is how it fits with it lowered. There's those two levels of adjustment. And I just showed you how to do it. This is with it lowered. It's a good fit. While I got you here, I'll show you the, the look of it. It is super lightweight, something like 30 some grams. It's like a little over an ounce. Uh, measurements are 99, I guess width 125 long. That's a lot of coverage. The lenses, you're probably wondering, why are those lenses clear? They're not, they're photochromic. So right now, it's early morning, the sun isn't having risen yet, it's on the other side of that mountain uh, over east. And I'm able to wear these sunglasses in the morning <clears throat> to protect myself from the snow so I can actually see what I'm doing here. As the sunlight becomes brighter, these will transition to a darker shade. So right now they're at zero, which is awesome. So I could use these for nighttime missions, which I did last night. Although my last night mission was just walking my dog in the snow, which is a lot of fun. But you know, if you want to go backcountry skiing or on a hut trip or something, it's nice to have multiple levels of protection with just one lens. Though it does come with two. Get a bit of snow right now, which is nice. So here is the case it comes with. It's a nice case, and in my case, no pun intended, it comes with a second lens, and it's clear, which is pretty funny because I don't think I'll ever use the clear lens as I have a clear lens right here. Now, I timed it how long it takes to go from clear to full uh, darkness. is around 40 seconds, maybe 45 seconds if I'm being totally honest, uh, which might sound kind of slow. So if you're going on places where it's a dark, bright, dark, bright, like through a valley or something like that, you might want a different... Uh, lens from them or a different pair of shades for backup. But if you're going to be going into a, a gradually changing atmosphere, th it's fantastic. Plus you just have one pair of shades that covers you from zero <laughs> all the way up to as much protection as you need in the brightest of conditions. It is awesome. And uh, you either love the look or you hate the look. Most people like the look quite a bit. I know a lot of our riders love this look. My wife does not like this look, so she's not letting me leave the house with these. So I sneak them out and I go out and do some fun stuff. So to each their own. But again, there's different lenses in the lineup. You don't have to go with a photochromic. You can go with a nice um, red-based or blue-based or green-based lens. We've covered at least six different kinds of lenses for Smith so far. So you can refer back to our reviews on those optics with the Chroma Pop. Chroma Pop Plus, um, the Embark are my current favorite touring glasses until these came in. So uh, we'll see if these usurp the Embark here next month or so. Uh, and I have a review for the Embark as well, which is they're like glacier style with the removable side shields uh, with the polarized Chroma Pop Plus lenses. And I really like those. I used them all last season. So we'll see if these uh, take out those guys. And they might because there's a little bit more room for the air to circulate and breathe, uh, which is only a positive. And as I'm doing this review, I'm seeing it's getting a little bit darker in the lenses. So as the sun's coming up, it's getting darker. So that's how they work. So one last time, there is the case. These are the goodies you get with the sunglass. You get a soft case. You get a case for the second lens as well as the sunglasses. 
and then one last gander at the shades. Pretty sweet. Surprisingly lightweight, too, like I mentioned. Just very, very lightweight. All right, if you have any questions, put those in the comments below. If you have any experience with the Wildcats, share that with our audience. We'd love to hear from you. If you found this helpful, a thumbs up is always appreciated. If you want to see more content from Smith, we have a lot of new stuff they just came out with, especially in the female lineup. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see that, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Engearment.com. I'm going to get back to playing in the snow with my dog. And until next time, take care.